I'm working on this uh, differential out of the Chevy Camaro. And before I put it on the engine stand to work on it, to disassemble it, I want to remove this this snap ring here because I may not be able to get to it very easily later. It's on that spline shaft. So I'll zoom in a little so you can see. It's uh, right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and mount my engine stand or adapter to these points right here. So I already weighed this uh, differential. It weighs just under 100 pounds. So these little bolts here should be able to handle it. So I'm looking at the, uh, this is the Chevy. Uh, Camaro differential looking at it from the, the top and this is the front where the uh, the drive shaft goes and I can see that it still acts as a differential limited slip. Uh, I can turn the input yoke and both the output flanges are rotating in the same direction. But I do notice that um, and also when I rotate these, these rotate in the reverse direction like you would expect a differential to. And if you rotate them both, then the front yoke rotates. But I do notice there's a lot of play here. A lot of play here and a whole lot of play on this side. And when you pull these all the way out, then it no longer acts like a differential. It's, I can feel it's uh, the gear is not meshing anymore. Well, let's see. Yes, uh, I think the gear is slipping. At least that's the, uh, when it was in the car, that's what was happening. It wasn't moving. And the other thing that was happening was uh, transmission fluid was coming out of this overflow cap here. And uh, there's two uh, transmission lines that go into the uh, Trans into this differential right here on this side. They're just a uh, quick connect. And I think they have something to do with the uh, application of the, uh, the limited slip portion. So we're going to crack this case open and take a look inside right now. So I've got this 2017 differential out of the uh, Camaro on a uh, engine stand here. And I uh, was hoping to tear into it today and disassemble it and find out what the uh, what actually failed inside because I'm curious. I've never uh, seen a differential like this. It's a new newer model that I'm used to working on, so I was interested to uh, look inside and see how they're doing what they're doing. But I ran into a little problem with the fasteners here. Apparently, these are EP Torx heads, and the only thing I have uh, in my... Uh, collection of tools are the e Torx, and while it looks like it might fit it feels like it might fit when you go to torque it on it torque it out of there it just cams right off of the, uh, the fastener and so after looking into it and checking into it some more i found out there, that there's a new uh new fastener head in town it's called the external plus Torx, and so it's a slightly different profile and uh the regular old e torques won't fit. Uh, they feel like they might fit, but they don't. And so I'm going to take a look around and see if I can find uh, some sockets available so I can finish the teardown of this differential. But thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And hopefully soon I can finish the teardown and uh, see what actually went on in here.